cool if you could train your finger to magnetically go to any pitch? I think I found a way. What's going on? It's Jason Heath. I just got back from getting a crown put on at the dentist. The Novocaine cell isn't worn off yet, but I was in that chair thinking the whole time about this idea and this way that I've been warming up. Now, we recently put out a video featuring the wonderful Susan Hagen and her warm-up book. I will link up to that in the description below, but this is a technique that I find myself using all the time, and it's based around the harmonics. And really, any harmonic will work on the bass for this, but the ones that I predominantly use are are the tuning harmonics right here, and this G harmonic, and then also if I'm playing in thumb position, those same harmonics. So there's like a mirror image for harmonics. You get your octave, and then you got the fifth, and then you've got the next octave. And those spots on the bass, I find myself practicing those all the time, either by themselves or with open strings or closed notes. And there's a reason why I like starting with these. So this is what got me thinking about it in the dentist chair and with Susan's recent video, is I like warming up with harmonics because you're not actually getting the whole string vibrating. And that's something that Susan talked about, why she kind of stays off the A string and the E string when she's warming up. I find that I do that and I love her approach, but I also find myself these days going Going between these harmonics on all the different strings. And I'll do first finger, I'll do one, four, and then also these, and I'll do them with open strings. The more I practice these, I'll do them with closed notes. And then I'll close them. I'll shift. I find that I start to feel where these nodes are. And I don't understand why this works, but it does work. The more I warm up on those, the more my hand just kind of snaps to these notes. Kind of like there are magnets in my fingers. It's pretty cool, or in the strings or whatever. So this is useful for many reasons. One is that if I can find a few notes with confidence, I can find everything else on the bass, just one step removed, more or less. So if I can reliably find this D, that's awesome because that means I can reliably find this neck position. If I can reliably find this octave harmonic, that's awesome because this is a really good spot to start all sorts of things technically. And then if I can find this harmonic over C, the equivalent spot on the bass, I've got a good spot in the middle of the neck. So you will see me all the time finding other spots in the bass from these spots. If you watch me in a concert, you would see my hand gravitate to these spots and then I move. I also do like to find first position. And I'll practice this a lot. Just getting these fifths going. That one I find a bit easier, and I'm usually measuring from right here, this little crook of the neck. Um, but those spots, these harmonics, and this crook of the neck first position, if I just spend a little bit of every practice session, and I'll sprinkle this throughout my whole practice session, I find that incredibly useful for my practicing. Thanks for watching. If you want to learn more about these spots, check out this video on the Raboth positions. It digs into this technique.